Haxorus is a ridiculously strong physical attacker and it does not get enough love nowadays despite this. Let's change that. My name is Just Weavile and welcome to my Pokemon Wife about series, where we try to bring out the potential of every Pokemon there is. Let's get started. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun to my opponents. So they're going to lead off with Barry B. Benson, which is the Ribombe. And uh, we lead off with Glamorous. So this is a great lead for us because they can't really touch us. They can stop the sticky webs. That's about it. Um, so I'm going to go for a Stealth Rock straight up. I don't see any reason not to go for a Stealth Rock. So they go for the sticky webs. Absolutely fine by me. I'm not too fussed about that. And uh, we go for a Stealth Rock. So they're probably going to expect a Mortal Spin here. And they're more than likely going to go into Empoleon. So I'm going to go for an Earth Power this next turn just to try and counteract that and get a bit of damage off of the Empoleon because it's obviously a big threat. So they withdraw the Ribombe, not wanting to get it down by a Sludge Wave or out. And they go into King Burb, which is going to be the Empoleon, no doubt. Yep, there it is. The Empoleon comes in. Stealth Frogs do dig in, which is awesome. We go for an Earth Power, predicting that. Pretty good play on my behalf. Um, but it is a bit, bit risky because if we got the Special Defense drop, then they would have got a competitive boost, which we obviously don't want. Now, Glimora, you can come back to us now. I'm going to go into my Zapdos now, just to scare this Empoleon a little bit. So, we'll withdraw Glimora. And we're not affected by Sticky Webs being a flying type and heavy duty boost. Um, so, we'll go Zapdos now, not worrying about it. There we go. They go ahead and withdraw the Empoleon, not wanting to get hit by another Earth Power, maybe. And they go into Cinders, which is going to be the Cinderace, I'm guessing. Yeah, Cinderace comes in. So I'll try and go for a Volt Switch, but they're more than likely going to Landorus. They actually go for a Court Change, so they now have the Sticky Webs, which is kind of cool for us, because Haxorus is no longer being affected. Um, but also, it's kind of bad because of reasons. So um, it means we've got Stealth Frogs on our side of things. And it also means they'll get a competitive boost on Superior, uh, uh, and, and then a contrary boost on Superior. So kind of terrifying, really. Um, what we'll have to do here is we'll have to go back into Glimora first and foremost, and then we'll go for another Stealth Rock set. Stealth Rocks will definitely help us out, so I want to get them up, and then we'll also try and Mortal Spin. So let's go for a Stealth Rock now. They withdraw Cinderace, which is fine, and they're going to go into what exactly? Uh, King Bird wants to get the Empoleon, which is going to get a competitive boost, but it also does lower its speed, so it's no, no longer going to be faster than Glimora. Not that I think it was anyway, because we are max speed. Um, but there's a competitive boost making that Empoleon very scary right now. So Stealth Frog's going to come through like so. Boom. And now all we need to do is go for a Earth Power, I would say. But they'd probably take us out. So do I want to go for a uh, Earth Power or do I want to switch out? Um, what's my best switching? Not a lot really because the, anything they go for is going to sting quite a bit. Um, so we could go Drift Blim. I think I'll just stay in and go for another Earth Power and weaken this thing. I think that's going to be beneficial to us and um, they go for a surf of course that's going to take out glimora no problem so glimora does go down our oh, one way of getting rid of this stealth frost has gone down but you know what it's the only pokemon that really cares about it because of the focus sash so it's, it's whatever at the end of the day so they're gonna get their leftovers recovery now let's see what we can go into and now to take on this empoleon i'm leaning towards infernape and scare it out they probably go into landorus if that was the case also zapdos is really good and haxorus is super good as well super super good super duper good so, do we go for a Haxorus switch in? Potentially? Maybe? No, Haxorus will be good against the likes of the Superior, I think. I'm gonna go into Indeedee. Now, the reason I'm going Indeedee is because that Earth Power damage tells me that Psychic um, Expanding Force might KO here, which would be really cool if it does. So, Psychic Surge is up. And they don't have a switch in. They have no switch in to the Expanding Force. Other than this thing, which is nearly dead. So, let's go for an Expanding Force now and hope for the best. Spanning Force comes through. We are max special attack. Oh, just shy of a KO as they now roost off the damage they've took. That's unfortunate. But what we can do now, this is still a really good opportunity for us. What we can do now is we can go into Haxorus. And Hax... Uh, no, we can go for an Encore and then go into Haxorus. So we'll go for an Encore now. Encore them into Roost. Encoring them into the Roost is definitely the best thing I could do here. Um, stops them from attacking with that massive special attack that they have. So there's the roost, but we obviously can't touch them still, and they know this. So we have to be careful what we do. So I'm going to go into Haxorus now. So we'll withdraw our Indeedee. We'll go into good old Haxorus over here, Blade. There we go. Stones do dig in, which is unfortunate. And the Mold Breaker is there as well. And they go for another roost because they have to. And they're probably going to switch out now because of the fact we could go for an Earthquake. So... I'm going to go for a Swords Dance here. 
They do withdraw, not wanting to take an earthquake to the face. Are they going to go Landorus? Gilgamesh. Is that Landorus? It is Landorus. So Landorus is going to come in, get Stealth Rock Chip, and then it gets the Intimidate off, which means that our Swords Dance is only plus one. But you know what? It's fine. We can handle this, no problem. It is fine. So, what do we think this Salanderus is? Do we think it's an offensive one? Or are we thinking not an offensive one? Gonna go for a skill shot. So it looks like they are a defensive one because we outsped them then. Which is unfortunate because it means we're gonna get a defense drop here. Unless we hit all five times, in which case we don't worry. We hit all five times, but it doesn't quite get the KO. That is really unfortunate. Super unfortunate, in fact. As it lowers the defense but boosts the speed, that's great and all. They go for a U-turn though, which is going to not KO us. And now we're in a much better position. Zero Mado comes in. Which is a whole Lucha. Don't be Psychic Seed randomly. Stealth Frogs are going to dig in. They don't, they're not, they're not, that's fine. Um, Stealth Frogs dig in, so we can now go for a Scale Shot. Scale Shot should KO here. Scale Shot comes through. We're at plus one, it's definitely going to KO. Yep. Whole Lucha goes down. Awesome. And now we're at plus two speed, so we outspeed that Superior. Which is fantastic. The only problem we've got now is if the Cinderace has Sucker Punch. But we have got um, Psychic Terrain for a few more turns. As there goes the whole Lucha. And then we're going to get our defense dropped. And our speed boosted once again. Which is awesome. Cinders comes in. That is a Cinderace. They can't Sucker Punch us. But they can Terra. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to EQ here. They tried to Sucker Punch anyway. Oh no. Oh no. They didn't, they didn't know about the Psychic Terrain. That's awesome. So Earthquake comes through. That's going to KO the Cinderace, no doubt. Yep. Hax was looking pretty good right now. So good right now, in fact. Barry B. Benson comes in. And this is the part where they're like, probably hoping and praying we don't have Iron Head or Poison Jab. But Stealth Rocks are going to break that potential Sash. We now Terrastalize into a Fire Type and go for the Terror Blast, which is awesome. There we go, Terra Fire. We outspeed because we're at plus two speed, plus one attack. I think plus one attack is all we need now. So there's no point in going for another Swords Dance. So there we are, terrestrializing our Hagstress into a Fire type. We now go for a Terra Blast, which is definitely going to KO the Ribombe, which is fantastic. As there we go, Terra Blast comes through. Barry B. Benson goes down. And now we just got Superior, Empoleon, and Landorus to go. And the weirdness has disappeared, but unfortunately for them, the suck they lost their Sucker Punch, man. Gilgamesh comes in, which is the Landorus. They get their Intimidate, but oh no, they don't because the stones. No Intimidate because the stones. We are looking good right now with Haxorus. Asparagus comes in. That's going to be the uh, Superior. Now, they could Terra here. They could Terra. Sticky Web is going to boost their speed by one stage. They won't outspeed us because we're plus two. Stones dig in. Are they terroring here? Would they terror? They might do. I think I'll go for a safe scale shot predicting the terror fire here. Scale shot comes through and misses. That hacks just really. Hacks just really. This leaf sword is going to come through. Doesn't get the KO, which is fantastic. So Hacks is living. Hacks be living. Let's go for a terror blast now because they're obviously not going to terror. Terror blast comes through. Did they already terror? I don't think they did. So Terra Blast comes through, taking out the Superior. And then it's just Empoleon left over, which we can just take out of an Earthquake, I think. King Burb comes in. We won't go for an Earth... Oh, yeah, yeah, the full health. We will go for an Earthquake. So they get caught in the Sticky Webs, giving them a competitive boost. But I don't think they live in Earthquake. Unless they can Terra. Unless they can Terra. Let's go for an EQ and find out. They do Terra. What type are they going to Terra into? And is this something they should have brought in earlier? Terra Fairy. Oh, okay. That means Earthquake probably won't KO. Probably. But you know what? Hacksters did real good this game. So I'm just going to keep it. There's the Surf. That's going to take out Hacksters. Yeah, they should have done this earlier. It's, it's, it's a mistake I make every now and then as well. But at the same time... They might have thought we had Iron Head before, so fair enough. So we're going to Infernape now to finish up the game. A nice strong Flare Blitz will definitely take out the Empoleon from here. So Pointed Stones dig into us. 
We now simply go for a Flare Blitz, and that is going to be the game, I believe. So Flare Blitz comes through. Boom. Pop. Down goes the Empoleon. Absolutely amazing stuff from Haxorus, and then Infernity cleaned up there as well. So GG to my opponent. That was a really fun one. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Puff. So they're going to lead off with Clay, which is the Great Tusk, because I led off with my Infernape. So this is a not a bad lead for us, because we can just U-turn out there. Type advantage-wise, we definitely don't want to stay in, that's for sure, because it's a Great Tusk. So naturally, I'm going to U-turn, since I am faster with the Scarf, even if they're Scarf, they're not Scarfed, whatever. We're always faster with the Infernape. So, we go for a U-turn, we get out of there. Now, if we assume they're going to attack us with something like maybe a Headlong Rush, or they're going to go for a Stealth Rocks, we should go into Zapdos here. So Zapdos comes in, Fundarja. Or is it Fundarga or Fundarja? I'm a bad fan. Anyway, they go for a knockoff, which is very fine. And they could get static. They do get staticked, which is really awesome. Now, what we can do now is we can go for a Hurricane and take this thing out. But it's more likely that they're going to switch out to Titar here. So I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch, predicting the switch. I doubt they would stay in and go for an Ice Spinner here. Because Great Tusk is still valuable at full health, pretty much. Even when paralyzed. They do withdraw. Okay, so they haven't got... Uh, they could go Torterra, but I doubt they will. Because it's Grass-type again. Weak to Hurricane. They go into Commodore, the Shining Star, which is going to be the Empoleon. So that's great for us. So we go for a Volt Switch. And that is going to do some nice damage to the Empoleon. That damage tells me they could be Assault Vest, but more than likely specially defensive, I would say. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go Haxorus. Haxorus definitely scares this thing out of an Earthquake. In fact, Haxorus scares everything on our team with an Earthquake, except from the Torterra. So that's great. So we're going to break the mold. And this Empoleon is fine as well. Um, I can deal with the Empoleon because what we can do is we could just uh, Swords Dance. If we assume they're going to switch out. It's going to seem a bit weird, but I'm actually going to Terrastalize into a Fire type um, right now. And Swords Dance because they're going into Turbo Tank, which is going to be the Torterra to take an incoming Earthquake. And that is just great for me because I went for a Swords Dance. Plus, I'm going to Terra Fire and I've got Terra Blast on here as well. So, um, Terra Fire is great. Now, they're probably thinking... He's trustalizing into a fire type to be uh, resistant to the ice beam. But no, 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 no. I'm doing this to Swords Dance and go for a Terra Blast on your potential Torterra or the Iron Valiant if the Iron Valiant wants to come in because then we won't be moon, moon, uh, <laughs> moon Blast. So now I want to go for a Terra Blast. I really want to go for a Terra Blast. I am going to go for a Terra Blast. It's going to sting something really hard. Terra Blast comes through. We have it for like Pokemon like Corviknight and stuff like that because they really put a stop to Hactorus. And that is a dead Torterra there, as Haxorus is just going to plow right through right now. So, their best bet is if Titar is Scarfed. I'm pretty sure if the Titar is Scarfed, then they're going to, you know, be able to take on Haxorus here. But, they go into Duelist now, who is going to be the Iron Valiant. Very awesome stuff. So, we know that this thing is probably going to go for a close combat or something here. I kind of want to keep this thing around. Um, I did want to use the Terra to... Bait the Moonblast from this thing and then go for a Swords Dance. But we can't scale shot with this thing around, which means we can't sell. But we are faster than pretty much the whole team except from the uh, Arcanine. Or well, Arcanine might actually be out of spec because I know the history in Arcanine is slower than the regular Arcanine. Um, I think ter Stab Terra Blast is still going to do more here, so I'm going to go for it. They actually have Liquidation, which is really cool. And unfortunately for them, it doesn't KO as we're able to get a Terra Blast off here, which is absolutely fantastic. So Terra Blast comes through, and that's going to KO the Iron Valiant here. So Iron Valiant goes down. Now, Haxorus is not super frail. So the fact that Haxorus can live that there is amazing. Now all they have to do is bring Titar in, though, and get the Sandstorm up, and it puts a timer on us. So Flanagan's going to come in, which is going to be the Arcanine. They're probably thinking, hey, I'm going to extreme speed here. There's a good chance they're choiced. So I'm going to switch straight into Indeedee and get the Psychic Terrain up right now. So we withdraw our Haxorus, expecting an extreme speed right now. And we're going to go into Zoldio, the Indeedee male. Nice and shiny as well. I love it. Psychic Surge comes up now. They are obviously going to go for an extreme speed, right? Head Smash. So they are probably Scar. But Indeedee goes down, which is fantastic and um, for them. But the Psychic Terrain is up for 8 turns now, which is great. So that means the Extreme Speed is not going to be a problem. So what we can do here is we can go for Mora, we can get our Rocks up, or we can go for an Earth Power. Earth Power hits everything really hard on that team. So let's go for Earth Power on the, the uh, Glimora right now. Nice and shiny as well. I really like shiny Glimora. Big fan of it recently. So let's go for an Earth Power. It should do a lot of damage. To the, it should take out the Arcanine. Um, but they're probably switching to Titar or Great Tusk here. Great Tusk if it's an AV. Commodore comes in. That's the Empoleon. So Empoleon's probably Assault Vest based on this. So Earth Power comes through, and that does a lot of damage, actually. 
So Mora is actually going to come through right now for us. Which is fantastic. Absolutely amazing for us. So what I'm going to do here is... I, Earth Power is not going to KO here. I want to preserve this. And you know what? I'm going to go into Zapdos. And I'm going to Bolt Switch. So we withdraw Glimora. I would stay in an Earth Power. But I want to preserve that Focus Ash. Because if that Arcanine is Scarfed. I'm going to need a way of dealing with it. So we're going to Zapdos instead. Zapdos isn't doing too much for us this game. Um, they're actually going to Terrestrialize here. Which is really cool for us. If they're not a Steel type. We can KO with Scale Shot. Which is amazing. They're actually a pure Water type. So that means they're not a Steel type. And that means Scale Shot from Hagstress will KO. And that also means that we don't need a Sword Dance necessarily. So Roost comes through. Roost is a very good play. Roost is a very good play. Um, if we assume they're going to go for... I don't know what they'll go for here. Probably something to attack. Oh, probably. Something to attack us. I'm going to go for a Hurricane. I'm not going to go for a Volt Switch. I want Zapdos to go down, really. They withdraw, though. Are they going to go into Great Tusk? They probably go T-Tar, right? Warden. That's got to be the T-Tar. Yeah, it is. T-Tar comes in. Sandstream gets set up, which is fine. We go for a Hurricane that obviously misses. But it's not the end of the world because what we can do here is they could be a Dragon Dance set. So we want to get rid of that threat really quick. So let's go for a Thunder Wave first and foremost. Thunder Wave comes through just in case they are Dragon Dance. Because if they're Dragon Dance, we want them to be paralyzed, that's for sure. So um, that's, that's the main thing I'm looking at here. So um, they go for a Power Gym, proving they are a special Tyranitar. And that is nearly going to KO my Zapdos, which is awesome for them. Not for me. That, not very awesome for me. So I'm going to go for a... I want a Volt Switch. I want a Volt Switch in something. Um, if we assume they go for a knockoff here, we should Volt Switch into Infernape. They probably go for a Power Gem again, actually. Either way, Infernape's a great switch because close combat hurts everything on the team pretty much. Except from the Great Tusk, but that's fine. So we'll go into Infernape now. I don't want to bring Haxorus back in just yet because the Sandstorm is up. I want to scare this thing out. So they go for a Power Gem. They have already terrorized. That's against a crit, which is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. Infernape is not really too concerned with the amount of health it's got at this point. Um, looking at the team now, I don't see any reason not to go for a close combat. So I'm going to go for a close combat because it'll still hurt the Great Tusk. It'll do some nice damage to it. And if the Rocky Helmet, so be it. Um, they do go into Clay, which is going to be the Great Tusk. Yep. I remember my nickname. Close combat comes through and they should do a decent bit of damage. Mm, there's nothing. That's definitely a defensive Great Tusk, which is awesome to see. No Rocky Helmet, though, which is nice, as the Sandstorm does buffer us. Um, now what do I do? I go, into, I go into Zapdos here every single time. Now, if they get the Rapid Spin off... No, not the Rapid Spin. If they get Stealth Rocks up, Haxorus can no longer switch in, which is unfortunate, um, until we Rapid Spin them away with Glamora. Now, luckily, the Empoleon isn't a Steel type anymore, so we can freely go for that. Um, but Zapdos is unfortunately going to go down to a combination of Knockoff and Sandstorm. So that is fine. I'm not too worried about that. But the Psychic Terrain has disappeared. So that Arcanine has become a bit of a threat to my Haxorus. So um, I'm Drift Limb is no longer a viable option for this. Is Haxorus the best option? No. I think, I think Drift Limb is the best option here. So we're going to Balloon. Real quick. And um, we'll go for a Hex. I think... Do we go for a Hex? Because they are paralyzed. But T-Tar comes in for free here. T-Tar comes in way for free here. Do they let this go down? There's nothing Driftlim can do to T-Tar. I think they go T-Tar. So I'm going to go in... I'm going to make a double into my Infernate. I'm going to make a double into Infernate. There we go. END comes in. And if they, if they KO my Infernate here, it's fine. They do withdraw. Okay, so that's great. We made the right play there. We made the right play there as they go into Commodore, which is going to be the uh, the uh, Empoleon. So Empoleon comes in. Sandstorm does buffer us a bit, but it's fine. Because it buffers them as well now that they're not a Steel type, but they don't have leftovers. So they are especially defensive. Well, it seems to be especially defensive. Anyway, um, I'm just going to do a lot of damage with Close Combat because they might go Great Tusk again. Um, as they don't, but Close Combat should still do a lot of damage as it does. Lowering our defenses just a little bit. And I think the Sandstorm wears off this turn. But they go for a Surf, which is going to take out Infernape. I would have got the Thunder... If I'd have gone for Thunder Punch there, and they switched into Great Tusk, they got three Stealth Rocks. So that's what I didn't want. You know what I mean? So, right. Okay, so they're going to get buffed by the Sandstorm. It's not subsided just yet. 
but it should subside this next turn. So now that I've got the leftover recovery, I'm going to go into Blade, the Haxorus, once again. Break the Mold, which is fine. And I'm going to go for a Scale Shot. Now, I'm going for a Scale Shot. I'm going for a Scale Shot 100% of the time here. Scale Shot comes through. That should take out the Empoleon in two hits. Yeah, it does. That's, that's awesome. So two hit KO on the Empoleon, which is awesome. Haxorus is pretty powerful. Um, it's took out two of them, three of them ons now. So this is definitely in the Haxorus video. So hey, if you're watching the Haxorus video, <laughs> hi. <laughs> All right, Flanagan comes in, which is the Arcanine. We know they're going to go for an extreme speed, so we should go into Driftblim right now. I feel like they don't. I feel like they go for a head smash predicting the Driftblim because it's such an obvious switch. It's a very obvious switch. Let's try, and, let's try and go for an Earthquake. No, they go for an extreme speed. That's fine. But this is, um, this is pretty all right for us. All right for us because A, the T-Tar the is um, special. So what we can do here is, because we know this thing's um, it's either locked into extreme speed or it's not. So they have to not be. So I'm going to go into Drift Blim right now. And I think this is the only way we can win this. We go into Drift Blim. We go for a Calm Mind. They go for a Wild Charge, which is fine. Calm Mind comes through. That is very unfortunate. That's a bad play by me right there. I I, I very much just made the wrong assumption. I assume the Arcanine was a uh, choice because it usually is. But um, that's not worked out in my favor right now. As they go for another wild charge, which is going to take us out. So, I guess it all comes down to Glimora at this point. It all comes down to Glimora at this point. So, what we'll do is we'll go Glimora. We've got our Focus Sash intact, which is great and all. And we'll get a special defense boost in the Sandstorm as well when the T-Tar comes in, which will help us. So, I think they'll be reluctant to bring the T-Tar in straight away. So, let's go for an Earth Power now. Um, they do withdraw. They do withdraw. They want to get that Sandstorm up. Yeah, Warden comes in. That's the Sandstorm. That's the T-Tar. Now, we should ask, we will outspeed the T-Tar because of the uh, Paralysis. Which is great. So, we'll go for an Earth Power. Doesn't quite do enough to 2-it KO. But you know what? In my opinion, it did enough. Let's go for another Earth Power. We outspeed, obviously, because we're max speed. Nearly get the KO on the T-Tar. They go for a knockoff, which is going to activate the Toxic Debris, which is nice. However... The Arcanine probably comes in and head smashes us straight away. So, um, they knock off our Focus Sash, but we are max speed Glimora, so we might outspeed the Arcanine. I'm going to go for another Earth Power. There's no reason not to. See if Glimora can pull this back. See if Glimora can pull this back. So, Warden goes down. Clay comes in. The Great Tusk. Now, this thing's paralyzed, so if we can get the Power Hacks going on, that'd be awesome. Let's go for an Earth Power and find out. Earth Power comes through. If they get Power Hacks, it's going to be hilarious. I'm terrible at the same time. There they go for an Earthquake, that is going to be the game, so GG Puff, can't win them all. But Haxorus did really well this game, to be honest with you, it did really well. Um, it KO'd, for the only three KOs that we got were from Haxorus, so, you know, I think I think it did alright. So GG Puff, that was a fun one. And the battle begins, good luck, have fun, Boo XYZ. So they're going to lead off with the Scizor. As I led off with Zapdos, I'm, I didn't predict the Scizor lead, I predicted the Dragapult lead, and um, that's kind of why I went with Zapdos. The only one that really has, has a chance, so... Um, if we assume they're probably going to go into Garchomp here or Heatran, um, they definitely don't stay in here. We go for a Hurricane all the time. Scizor is going to switch out though. What are they going to go into? Is it going to be the Heatran? Heatran the Strutter, that's fine. Absolutely fine with Heatran. We go for a Hurricane, it's not going to do much damage because um, it misses, which is awesome. Uh, we now go for a Volt Switch here all the time. They go for a Stealth Rock maybe? They might do. They might go for a Stealth Rock. Well, Volt Switch comes through anyway. And... Um, Pretty much, I'm expecting Stealth Rocks, so I'm going to go into... I want to go to Haxorus straight away. Um, Haxorus, I'm probably going to set up Haxorus on the Scizor and catch off guard with the Terra Fire, actually. So, I'm going to go into Infernape because they might Willow Wisp here. And they also might have Magma Storm. So, let's go Infernape now. They go for the Willow Wisp, that's great. We get a good switch. Um, and looking at the team, their best switch in here to a close combat is going to be the Latias or the Dragon Bolt. So, I think we're going to go for a U-turn here. Um, or do I go for a Thunder Punch to predict the Dragapult, maybe try and get the Paralysis? Let's go for a U-turn predicting the Dragapult to come in. So we go for a U-turn, they do actually stay in. Very risky play by my opponent, but they obviously read me like a book there. And they're probably going to go for an Earth Power or something, so I'm going to go back into Zapdos. I think Zapdos can handle this fine. So Zapdos can go in. 
they do go for an earth power, that's interesting. So, why would they stay in there? That's the real question. So, if we, we want to mess with this Heatran a little bit, we should go for a Thunder Wave. Let's go for a Thunder Wave now. Thunder Wave comes through, just paralyze the Heatran. Gives us more um, options and stuff like that uh, to outspeed it, etc. With certain Pokemon. So, um, they couldn't move because they were fully paralyzed, which is fantastic for us. And what we can do now is we can Volt Switch back into Infernape. And this time, we'll go for a close combat, um, to be honest with you. So, let's go for a Volt Switch now. Volt Switch comes through. A little bit of chip on the Heatran, nothing too drastic. And we'll go into Infernape. So, as always, if you find yourself enjoying this video and you want to see more of your favorite Pokemon in action, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. And let's go into Infernape now and hope we don't get hit by an Earth Power, because that would be unfortunate. So, Infernape comes back in. They go for the Earth Power, predicting the switch. Does a good play. Good play, good play, good play, good play. Lowering our special defense. Now we're flustered. We're probably not going to go for a close combat. We're probably going to go for another U turn here, which is why I'm going to go for a close combat. Um, I have a feeling they'll stay in again this time. So, let's go for the close combat now. Yep, yeah, I thought so. Close combat comes through. Heatran goes down. It was. I don't know. I, I just had a feeling they would stay in there. I don't know how to explain it other than that. It was a gut. It was a gut feeling. It was a gut feeling they would stay in. So <laughs> that's great for me. Of course, this does give them a free switch into Dragon Ball or Latias, in which they choose Garchomp, which is fine. Um, they're probably going to go for a Rock here for Stealth Rocks. I'm looking at their team, and I'd say this is a bulky Chomp with Stealth Rocks and stuff. So I think I'm going to sacrifice my Infernape here because it goes down to Grassy Glide on a Rillaboom. It goes down to Bullet Punch from Scizor. Can't touch this thing. Dragon Ball and Latias, it's untouchable. So let's go for a close combat and get damage off on this Garchomp first and foremost. There we go. It does it does over half, which is nice. We get a defense drop as well. But they have got Rough Skin and potentially Rocky Helmet. So there's the Rough Skin. And then Rocky Helmet as well. No, they go for a Stealth Rock. They haven't got Rough Skin. So we get another close combat off, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So we get another close combat. Um, again, they can just go into Dragon Dragon Ball if they want to, but it just give free self. So let's go for another close combat. Um, they do withdraw the guard charm. If they go Dragon Ball, then it's free self, Dragon Ants and stuff. They do go Dragon Ball, so that's unfortunate. But I mean, at least we know. And they're not Rocky Helmet on the Chomp, even though it's Stealth Rocks, which is interesting. So that's that's always fun. Um, what's the best thing to go into now? If we assume they're going to go for a Dragon Dance. Um, we should go zap those. If we if the dragon dance, we should go zap those. If the dragon dance, we should go zap those because we're physically defensive, or at least partially. So we can definitely take a dragon darts from a dragon dance dragapult. And we're not gonna get any stealth rocks either. They go for a U-turn. This is great. We could get static. We didn't get static, which is unfortunate. Um great for them. And now they haven't really got much options for Zapdos on their team, I've noticed. So if I had to guess, I'd say Latias is coming in right now. Yeah, Latias comes in. That's that's pretty much their only option, really. It's nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Um, I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave here. Just because they might calm mind up, and I don't want to deal with that. So they are going to Terrastalize. What type are they going to Terrastalize into? If it's Ground or Electric, I'm going to be mad. But I don't think it will be. It's Fairy. Yay, it's the Calm Mindset. So I'm assuming it's the Calm Mindset with Draining Kiss and Stored Power. And then, like, Recover or something. So... There's Carmine, which is fine. We're, like I said, we're going to Thunder Wave this thing, so I'm not too worried. Because all we need to do is bring in Haxorus or another Pokemon to get some chip damage off on this Latias first and foremost. So there we go. Latias is paralyzed. It may be unable to move. Zapdos is too valuable for us right now, so I'm going to go for a Volt Switch. And uh, do a bit of chip damage, nothing too drastic. And we'll go into something else that can handle this Latias. Now, I'm leaning towards... Glimora because of the sludge wave. So I am going to go Glimora. I am going to go Glimora. I don't think they go for a psychic here. I think if anything they go for a draining kiss or a, another calm mind. Yeah, another calm mind is coming. Which is fine. So they have to go for stored power to KO us. They could be weakness policy. It's always a possibility. But... Despite that, I'm going to go for a Sludge Wave here. I don't see any reason not to because we have speed. It's super effective. It's powerful attack. Well, powerful special attacks that. They go for a Psy Shock, which does heal on a physical side. So that's going to set up the Toxic Debris, I think. Um, so Petunia goes down. Does it tell the Toxic Debris? It doesn't. Interesting. So now we go into Hactress, right? Because they're not going to have a Dragon move. 
They're not going to have a dragon move, that's for sure. Um, I don't want Haxtras too early. That's the problem. We're going to Indeedee. And now the reason I'm going into Indeedee is because, A, I don't want this thing to set up any more Calm Minds. That's for sure. Um, and Indeedee can take a Psyshock. Shock. I know that for a fact. Despite the fact that Psychic Surge is up, I know we can take it. Um, so what I'll do here is I'll Encore first and foremost. So we'll Encore now. Encore comes through. Encoring them into Psy Shock, which will 2 it KO us. That's, that's no doubt in my mind. Um, there's a Psy Shock. It will 2 it KO us. Or it might even one shot us. It doesn't one shot us. It does 2 it KO though. Um, so now I'm going to go for an Expanding Force first and foremost. Just to get some damage off on the Latias. It might KO. It doesn't KO. Um, they go to Mooka though. Fully Paralyzed. That's unfortunate for them. Really unfortunate. But having this Fairy type out of the way is going to be amazing for us. So let's go for another Expanding Force. Expanding Force comes through. Boom, and that is a dead Latias. So with Latias out of the way, we've got two Pokemon we can sell up with Hactoros on. That's going to be Rillaboom and the Scizor. Scizor is the more preferable one because we can Sword Dance Terra Fire in its face and then go for anything we want to, really. So Scizor is the one that comes in. Now, they can't Bullet Punch us because of the Psychic Terrain. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sack off Infernape here. So we'll withdraw Zoldio. And we'll go into our END, the Infernape, get some Stealth Rock Chip and take us out. There we go. Down it goes. And now we'll get this opportunity to go into Hactorus, pretty much, um, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So if they go for a close combat, not going to work, I'm afraid, on me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Hactorus now, and we're going to Sword Dance. There's no reason not to Sword Dance here. None. Whatsoever. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Swords Dance straight away. And do I need to Swords Dance? I don't think I do. I think we Terrify a Scale Shot. I think we Terrify a Scale Shot. That is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to Terrify her. And I'm hoping they go for a U-turn here. Hoping they go for a U-turn here. So there we go. We Terrify her. And I really hope they go for a U-turn and not a close combat again. So we go for a scale shot. It's going to do no damage, obviously. But it will hit them four times at least. Which is still something. And they can't bullet punch us. But it'll give us a defense boost and a um, speed boost. No, a defense drop and a speed boost. We hit five times, which is nice. Lowering our defenses. So if they are banded here and go for a close combat, it's going to sting a little bit. Iron Head? Oh, we live that. We live that. They can't terror either, which is nice. But um, because they can't bullet punch us, they have Iron Head, interestingly. Um, let's go for a Terra Blast here and just take this Scizor out now that we've got Boost. So we go for a Terra Blast. And this is this is the main reason I like having Terra Fire. Terra Blast is to hit these Steel types like Scizor, Corviknight, Skarmory, etc. And um, Fretress, if you ever see that. And then we have Earthquake for stuff like Heatran, which is awesome. Right, Dragapult comes in. They can't Sucker Punch us. So unless they're Scarfed right now... We KO with Scale Shot all the time. Scale Shot comes through, and that's obviously going to KO. Yep, it, it takes three hits. Nothing. Absolutely note. Absolutely note. Which is fantastic. Dragapult goes down. We've got Garchomp. We've got Rillaboom. But they are lowering our defenses here. We are lowering our defenses here. So Rillaboom, every time we lower our defenses, it gives Rillaboom one more chance to KO with Grassy Glide. Now, looking at the Sizzle's Iron Head damage, I don't think Grassy Glide actually KOs here, even in Grassy Terrain, because it's only 55 base power. And Rillaboom doesn't have as high as an attack as, for example, Scizor. So, um, let's see what happens with this Grassy Surge. So, Grassy Surge comes in. We're going to go for a Terra Blast here, and again, I'm hoping we can live a Grassy Glide here, because we only have minus two defenses. Um, they go for the Grassy Glide. If they're banded, it definitely KOs. It does KO. So, Hactress goes down there, but Hactress did so well this game. So well this game. So, so, so well this game, which is awesome. I, you love to see it. So now we just have to go Zapdos or we can go into um, Drifblim. We can burn things. I think I'll go Drifblim. Drifblim seems like a good solid choice. It does get hit by Stealth Rocks, but I'm pretty confident this Rillaboom is banded right now. So I'm going to go for a Will-O-Wisp just to burn this thing, and then we'll go for a Hex. They withdraw the Rillaboom, which is fine. If they go into Guard Trumping and gets burned, that's awesome. Garchomp the Gorgeous Royal comes in. Like so. And that's half dead anyway. We go for a Will-O-Wisp and connect, which is nice. 
And then we simply go for a Hex here, and that'll KO the Garchomp, which is fantastic. So, um, with that in mind, let's see what we can do here. And, and even if, even if for whatever reason, we um, don't KO here with Hex, which we should do, they probably outspeed us anyway. Yeah, they go for a Dragon Claw, which isn't going to do much damage to us. And then we go for a Hex, which should KO the Garchomp from here, right? Yeah, it does. Awesome. So, Hex after Burn KOs the Garchomp. We got Rillaboom left. Now, Rillaboom, like I said, is probably banded by the way they switched it out. It's got to be banded. So we have to burn it in order to try and win this. But we do have the Zapdos in the back, which can definitely take on this Rillaboom, no problem. So there's the Rillaboom now. We go for a Will-O-Wisp 100% of the time here. They go for a knockoff that should KO us. It does KO us. Knocking off our Psychic Seed, but Balloon goes down. But it's fine because we have got the Zapdos in the back. So all we have to do is Zapdos is hit a darn hurricane. That's all we have to do. So let's go zap those now. Fun Dodger. There we go. We've got heavy duty boots. We're not bothered about no stealth rocks. Let's go for a hurricane real quick. Um, they do outspeed us. So we, they go for a knockoff, which is fine. They could get stagged here. They don't. And we miss the hurricane, which is unfortunate. The grass disappears from the field. We go for another hurricane here. They go for another knockoff. It's not going to do as much damage. No static once again, but we do land the Hurricane, which is nice. And that KOs the Rillaboom. And that is going to be the game. So that was an interesting game. Hacktress did pretty well. But um, yeah, GGBOXYZ. Pretty fun game.